Hello, I'm Robert Lenti, founder of The Vocalist Studio, author of The Four Pillars of Singing, and producer of the world's largest online vocal training, vocal technique program on the planet at thefourpillarsofsinging.com. And this is the composition, very popular composition that I've done throughout the years called Lift Up, Pull Back. Lift Up, Pull Back is a technique that helps new students, beginners, learn how to bridge from your chest voice to your head voice without constricting, without pushing, and without breaking. It is not necessarily the end game, okay? It's not really where we wanna go or how we would wanna bridge the vocal break and the passaggio towards the end of our more advanced training skills or in singing. However, again, for beginners and people that have a difficulty bridging seamlessly or singing seamlessly from the chest voice to the head voice, this interim technique, lift up, pull back, is awesome. Now, lift up, pull back um, shuts down the constrictors. Um, it, uh, it, it teaches the body to stop engaging the musculature that is involved when you're pushing and straining. And oftentimes for beginners, uh, for about the first, well, maybe four to six weeks, until you can um, learn to shut down the constriction and the strain as you approach the high notes, until you learn how to do that, or you train your voice to disengage that choky musculature, you can't be ready to work on the other techniques that teach you and train you how to sound huge and big and boomy in your head voice and bridge your passaggio in a way that works for singing. So what I'm trying to say is, for a lot of beginners, you have to um, retrain the body to let go of bad habits first for about four to six weeks, and then, with lift up, pull back, then you can come back and begin working on building a seamless voice. So lift up, pull back is really simple, and um, if you want to practice it, um, just pay attention to the details here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to phonate and onset. Now in TVS, an onset just means the beginning, just the start. Ma, okay, the beginning of my training note scale or the beginning of my singing is an onset, okay? Now, I will onset on a low G. Ma, all right? And then I will proceed with a slow and controlled siren or in classical world, they call this a glissando, a glissando. Uh, it just, just means me, that's a siren, okay? Um, a scale would have intervals in it. A siren is just one slidey slide phonation, okay? So I will onset on the low G and then train or phonate a slow and controlled siren from the low G to the high G, an octave higher, which is G4. All right, as I get higher in frequency, as I get higher in frequency, instead of allowing the constrictors and the choking and the strainy muscles to get involved and get in the way and get sucked into that old bad habit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually relax my compression on my glottis. I'm gonna just, not too much, don't go ah, totally open, but train a real slow and gradual relaxation of the vocal cords or the vocal fold compression. As you are going higher in frequency, as you are ascending in frequency, you are incrementally opening up the glottis and letting a little bit of wind, a little bit of respiration bleed through. And as you do that, as you incrementally open the glottis, as you're going higher in frequency, what that does is that removes the strain. 
that removes the pushing and the constriction. And it, as I pointed out before, it doesn't sound great. It doesn't make it sound really amazing. You probably wouldn't want to do this in a song. But what it does do is it, is it shuts down all of that pushing, all right? So watch me do the lift up pull back technique. And I encourage you to do this in the shower, in the car, walking to work, standing in the alley, standing in a, a stairwell, it doesn't matter. This is a singer sizing technique that you should be able to do just about anywhere and it would be really great for those of you that are having a hard time um, with constriction and pushing. Me. Do a track and release on set. Me. All right, do you see that? As I approach the vocal break, instead of fighting it, instead of slapping the water and hit, or hitting my head against the wall and doing this, which will not work, by the way. You can do this for a lifetime. It'll never work for you. You're gonna keep pushing and straining. Instead of doing that, I'm going to do something different. Teach my body how to take command and control of the vocal cords or of the glottis. Take command and control of the glottis back and incrementally, subtly, just open the glottis. It'll get a little bit windy. And yes, yes, it'll be a little bit falsetto-ish. That's okay, that's okay for this technique. Um, and allow myself to bridge through the vocal break to the head voice without pushing and straining. Now, that's a successful bridge, by the way. The definition of a successful bridge in vocal technique does not include, and it has to sound cool. Okay, that's not the definition of a successful bridge. In my opinion, the definition of a successful bridge is simply one seamless phonation from the lower register to the higher register without pushing, choking, or sounding like a, like a quacking duck, all right? The sound cool part is what come, that's what's coming after you learn to do this. Again, lift up, pull back, demonstration. I'll do a dampen and release on set. All right, you'll notice that once I get, once I open my glottis, my glottis, fancy voice lesson talk for um, the space between your vocal cords, okay? Once I open my vocal cords, vocal folds, glottis, once I open my glottis and I kind of get through the passaggio, I get through the hard part, and I'm in my head voice, then I bring the glottis back together, bring in the respiration, anchor the larynx, do all the additional techniques that I've learned how to do, and bring in the beef. Try to bring in the muscle and the fullness as much as I can. Once you get to the other side, it's okay to try to build it out and make it booming again. It's this movement right here, right, that we're working on. I'll do it again. I'm gonna go a note higher to the G sharp. Little sir, ah. me. All right. By the way, um, lift up, pull back is something you have to practice in both directions. See that? That's lift up, pull back, go around the vocal break. Run to the sidelines, go around to the, the vocal break. Don't try to plow straight through if you're somebody that pushes and constricts. Next example. Number third. Me. Now, on my descending movement right there, that wasn't really too much of a lift up pull back. That's kind of what we're trying, trying to get to. When you get, when you get good at this, you can then start building a seamless foundation. All right, uh, we'll go to B flat, and this time I'll do it without the microphone so that you realize that there's no effects trickery going on around here. <laughs> Me. Hey! 
Yay! See that? All day long, in the shower, in the car, walking down the street, in the stairwell. You are Mr. and Mrs. Lift up, pull back a lot. Okay? <laughs> One more time, lift up, pull back. Teaching my body to stop constricting, pushing, and straining. And getting not a great bridge yet, but at least a bridge. At least a smooth movement. From my chest voice to my head voice. You're going to do it too. It's just that simple. As you're going higher in frequency, you take command and control of your glottis and you subtly, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you subtly, bleed, we call it bleeding the glottis. Bleeding respiration, not blood. Bleeding the glottis of respiration as you go through the passaggio into the head voice and then the same movement back. Do this. Do this lift up, pull back technique as a beginner. Make it part of your regular routine and make it part of your singer sizing routine in the shower in the car and you will shut down all that pushing and strain and constriction that you may have been plagued by. All right? Now, lift up, pull back. This technique um, enjoys a full demonstration and lesson explanation in um, the four pillars of singing.com, which is the uh, comprehensive vocal training program and um, I look forward to seeing you in that program because if you want to learn to bridge from chest voice to head voice smooth, seamlessly, and belt high and remove all the pushing and straining in your voice, and believe me, 9 out of 10 people can, you can learn to do this. You just have to have the right techniques and the right training program that will show you how. Okay? Um, if you come on board with the TVS Student, I promise you, you'll get progress. All right, look forward to hearing from you, and make sure that uh, you give me a call if you have any questions.